Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, she's she's wounded. injured. Dang it. <sighs> Not the nail gun. Don't worry, it wasn't the nail gun. No, a, a screw was stuck and the drawer it was attached to fell on my toes. So I have a big. So my lovely feet. But <laughs> he's cringing when I say it. Has a giant bruise on my toe. I, I don't um, think it's broken though. I hope not. But I, it I, really hurts. I've broken a toe before. I had somebody roll over my toe with an office chair. Oh, time. yeah. I remember you saying about that. And so now my one toe is kind of like sideways-ish. Does it hurt like when it's like the weather uh, changes and stuff? No. Okay. Anyway. No, it doesn't. Um, but here, you know what does hurt? Is is Disney. Um, this is our second dismal Disney video today. This was quite unexpected. Well, this isn't really all dismal. I mean, it, it's interesting, though. It's not a, a good thing for Disney. Well, not this part. Right. So Disney, Disney, the Disney Plus boss, the guy who's in charge of Disney's streaming, the guy who, uh, you know, the investors love yes. this guy. The guy the, he's the one the investors thought was going to get to be made CEO. I, I honestly never heard that. I always heard it was going to be Chapek because um, we come from the parks end of it. But this is the person who was supposed to be in the running. Right. Well, he's running away from the mouse house. Yeah. Well, S he didn't get the job, you know? He didn't get the... This happened before, I think, with uh, Tom Staggs. Yeah. He, he bailed, too. Now, why this is... I think catastrophic for Disney is this is a guy who had the roadmap for Disney Plus, right. and this was kind of his baby, and they're betting on everything on Disney Plus at this yeah. point. And that was everybody's like, oh, it's the one bright spot the company has is Disney Plus. Disney Plus is going to save Disney. And the guy in charge just bailed for TikTok. And he's not only, there's something else about this is the fact that the acquisition of the company they use, uh, was it, was it Bam Tech or something? The yeah. company they used that built the entire platform for Disney Plus and the reason they, they acquired it was for that reason. He was behind all of that in, in the acquisition. He kind of led it to, to build the whole platform and everything. Yeah, so this is uh, this is the CNBC version. Then we'll go talk about some other stuff because there's a lot of uh, changes at the top. Again, at Disney, uh, TikTok nabs Disney's streaming boss to be his new CEO. So he's working for a Chinese company now. Yeah, now he's, he's going to be CEO. So he gets to be a CEO, which is CEO of TikTok. That's what he wanted. Yeah, uh, I think that's what he wanted. Disney's head of streaming, Kevin Mayer, is set to become TikTok. 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 TikTok's. That always he's got me. fresh breath. He's so minty. He is. He's minty fresh. Uh, TikTok's chief executive mayor earned a reputation as one of Disney's best deal makers and worked on the company's acquisition of uh, Pixar, Lucasfilm, Marvel, and Bam Tech. Bam Tech. Yeah, that was it. Mayor was widely considered one of the top candidates to replace Bob Iger. I have heard he was the top candidate. See, I, I, I never heard that before until after it happened. And then everybody's coming out like the investors thought it was going to be him. Yeah. I, mean, I do remember him being mentioned, but I always heard it was going to be Chapek. Yeah. Um, well, I think it's because they were betting. So they're betting so heavy on streaming. So they're mm -hmm. like, well, the guy who's in charge of streaming obviously would be, you know, whereas Chapek's, uh, you know, forte is the theme parks. Yeah, he's parks. You know, and cutting, cutting, cutting budgets. Cutting corners. Budgets. Cutting corners. Uh, Bob Chapek succeeded Iger as CEO. I don't think he was very well, you happy. you know what? They might have, they probably picked Chapek just because they were going to start cutting costs before this happened. Yeah. Uh, so, Mayor will also serve as Chief o Operating Officer of ByteDance, the Chinese company that owns TikTok, effective on June 1st. Disney's stock fell nearly 1% in after hours string. Wait oh. until tomorrow. I don't think that's too terrible, though. It's not terrible. I, okay, so this is going to be... I talked about the Q3 earnings report. Mm, oh, yeah. This is going to be the biggest cluster it's ever. It's going to be an interesting call. Because not only is this the uh, the quarter where the parks were closed for the entirety of the quarter, we just got a little taste of it last mm -hmm. quarter. Now they have to explain why the guy that the, the investors liked, the Disney Plus guy, the guy who was going to lead Disney Plus to, to conquer Netflix, yeah. why he just jumped ship to go work for TikTok. Oh, you said it right. Yeah. I said um, it right this time. Yeah, but I mean, it's because he wanted to be CEO and they didn't let him be CEO. So he's like, I'm going to go be CEO. He's going to go be CEO. Uh, so that's what's going on. So now there's a bunch of other changes because he, he's gone. Yeah. So he's leaving to go be the CEO of TikTok. And now they're bringing this Rebecca Campbell, who was the president of Disneyland, to come and replace him. And I'm trying to remember what his official title was. It was like, it was Disney's head of streaming. 
I don't think that's the official title, but uh, Je- chairman of Disney's direct to consumer international is his title. That's so a fancier she, way of saying right. Direct so she direct. was in the president of Disneyland, and now she's going to be the chairman of Disney's direct to consumer international. Now she does have experience working on uh, Disney Plus as well, but he was kind of like the the big boss. Yeah. So this was really. Um, I mean, I, I, again, they just launched Disney Plus. They barely have any original programming for it. And uh, they're boasting, crowing about these numbers, and the guy in charge is like, "Yeah, I'm out of here. Mm-hmm. I'm out of here." Yeah, and that they kind of needed it, so he yeah. is gone, and now this, now Rebecca Campbell is coming in and taking his place. So now she's leaving the president position of Disneyland to go do that, and then uh, Josh Demaro, who was the president of Walt Disney World, who was actually really cool because he really seemed to care about yeah, uh, the yeah, cast he's, members he's and cool. the guests and stuff. He is now getting moved to chairman of Park, Disney Parks Experiences and Products. So he's taking Bob Chapek's old job. Well, that's actually a good thing. Because, I think that's a good thing, too. Because one of the, the pro, cause Josh Demaro is widely regarded by a lot of Disney Parks fans as being like a bright spot. He is. And I, I, I like him quite a bit. And, um, you know, if he's actually the big boss of the parks, he might actually be able to bring some legit changes. Right. He's ever seeing all the parks. Like, right. you know, so, you know, if he's already ma- trying to make changes at Disney World, he was already trying to do some things to make life better for the cast members yeah. at Disney World. So, uh, depending on funding, of course, oh, if he goes and to, to, to oversee all the parks, maybe he could do some things for cast members across all of the parks. Um, and he was also really big on doing things for guests. He's always fun to watch on Instagram because he gives you these really fun behind the scenes looks he, came, he went in on uh the birthday of um, hollywood studios yeah and had him turn the music on just for a few minutes so they get, people could hear it on instagram so he's just, he's just a sweetheart i really like him he's got I, I will say it he's actually got the he's got the showmanship that like walt and michael eisner but he also had. cares he cares that's it because that's, 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 that's the difference that's the difference it's not it's beyond the showmanship it's that he cares about what happens and he cares about what happens to the guests and to the cast members and it's not just all about you know what can i do for me uh like some people like Iger do um yeah yeah but i i think that he's a, a good choice for this yeah no um, I, th- I think he's he's a good choice again the only thing i worry about with anybody taking any position at this point is you know if heads roll are you going to be blamed because you just happen to be there when uh the money ran out and, yeah that could be you know um so yeah. i don't know but i think he's he's a he's a natural choice obviously to be in charge that means he's not going to have because well Yes, no, because a lot of people were worried he was going to have his wings clipped by Bob Chapek, but now Chapek is the CEO, so it could still happen. And ironically, uh, Chapek was the one who appointed these people and was in the one in the press release, so he's actually getting to play CEO now. Since that interview on um, at CNBC, he's been playing CEO right and left. So he gets to be the boss. He actually gets Finally to be the boss. Finally gets a turn. <laughs> so, he gets to drive the car. I mean, I'm not, yeah, I'm not saying that, you know, that's a good thing, but I'm saying at least he's allowed to try to pretend he's CEO because before he wasn't allowed to do jack shit. Yeah. So the thing is, though, about Rebecca Campbell, this is kind of out of her wheelhouse, though. I mean, going from Disneyland, running a park. No, she worked on this stuff before that. Okay. So she does have. Okay. Yes. I thought here, it was if you mostly... go down here, it tells you she actually did work on stuff before. So this is not. So well, you said so. she was involved in Disney yeah. Plus. She, I uh, she has done media international park oh, okay. business. So she was, that was what she did recently. But before that, she was direct to consumer. And oh, Hulu, she, ESPN. Okay. She set up Disney Plus uh, okay. overseas. She was, she was key in, in that. So she actually has Disney Plus experience. Okay. But not to the extent, I think that, uh, you know, the other guy did right so this is uh, i'm trying to process this because everybody's talking about they're like this is i mean we're talking this is it's bad all out war a streaming war disney is betting on disney plus to save them to pull them you know it's like the one bright spot like i've been saying out of this horrible situation that they're in this year and their their head guy their mvp bails and they just wanted tiktok which is you know an unusual choice I think are, it was, are TikTok going to start trying to do some kind of streaming? Because I know they're doing the videos like that, but I mean, do they want they want to change their direction? Because it's uh, you know why why would they pick this guy unless they want to make some changes? Yeah, I mean, are they going to start doing well, kind of like YouTube? I, I was guess, say, are they going to try to be like the next YouTube? Yeah, I, I mean that's time. possible. Um, I I don't know. It's a it's a very interesting 
uh, decision, or is it just like, are we just playing chess and this uh, company is like, let's take this guy away from Disney so Disney crumbles. Yeah, but to what end? <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? Disney Plus crumbles. How does that benefit TikTok? It doesn't unless they're trying to, they're going to try to become a player. Original programming. Unless they're going to try to be a player in some way. Like does, Quibi it, was trying to do with the short, Right, you know, so that's content. what I'm wondering. Yeah. I'm like, you know, there's got to be some kind of, we don't know what it is yet, but I'm waiting for the shooter drop because there's got to be some reason they did this. Um, cause they could have had a lot of different CEOs that might've had more experience in this kind of thing, but that's a very specific choice. So I, I'm thinking, and it's, he's very key to Disney plus mm-hmm. and I'm sure he wasn't happy. He didn't get to be CEO. So I'm thinking there's a reason. Um, yeah, well it, it could be cause I mean, look at YouTube, YouTube started out, you know, with funny cat videos and then they were, you know, decade later doing karate kid yeah i'm just so. saying yeah i'm just saying there's just you know it's, it's a little odd now that's not the only changes that are coming so since josh tomorrow is now chairman of disney parks experiences and products he is going to be replaced for by jeff is it Vale? i guess um <laughs> and now this guy down here tells you where they came from okay so now the josh tomorrow is gone okay then they're having this jeff Vale come in and he's going to be the new walt disney world park president right okay he now, he was Disney Signature Experiences president. Mm. So now, since that position's open, <laughs> Thomas Maslam, who is very key actually in the Orange County Economic Recovery Task Force, because he's the representative from Disney, was the representative from Disney World, he is now going to move into the position that Jeff vacated. Um, and now he's now Jeff's going to be um, president of Disney Signature Experiences. Okay, I am, this is, I need a chart uh, to follow this. this. Okay, so Josh Tomorrow was only, he wasn't even there a year, was he? I don't know, he wasn't there very long. Because they're like, uh, he's he like. He was oh. a Disneyland president at first. Yeah. Then he moved to Disney World and everybody was really happy because they're like, he's great. It was like last, yeah, it was like last year he came in as, as right. Disney World. I don't even know if he was in there a year, I don't know. Like six months, and then the shutdown happened. And now he's now he's in Bob Chapek's old job because they just like decided to hire Chapek well, as the CEO because now the Disney Plus guy. Well, I was trying going, to clarify. You're just making it much more confusing. Well, I'm just trying to keep a track of it. Well, you're head. just making it confusing everybody. They can't follow. Okay. okay. Josh Tomorrow moved up. Jeff moved into Josh Tomorrow's place. And Thomas Ma- Maslam moved into to Jeff's place. But who's on first? I'm not going to hit you. <laughs> I'm just uh, Anyway, there's a lot of shuffling, right? This... I don't think was planned, uh, obviously. Well, can I finish? Yeah. And then Disneyland, now we have this Ken Potrock, who's this dude. (laughs) And he's going to be the president of Disneyland now. And and he he was previously uh, president consumer products, okay? Okay. So now Kareem Daniel is going to now be president of consumer products, and where he was President of Walt Disney Imagineering Operations, Product Creation, Publishing, and Games. Ken Potrock sounds like a Flintstones name. <laughs> that kind of looks like Fred. Uh, <laughs> you have it down um, It is freaking musical chairs, and they just did this. They just did this when they fired, uh, what's her name? I'm looking at the positions here. We got President and Managing Director, Vice President of Marketing and Sales, Senior Vice President of Human Resources and Diversity and Inclusion. They have a person whose job. It's okay. Diver- okay. Senior Vice President of Communications and Public Affairs makes sense. Segment development and enrichment. God, they just make this stuff up. How many? Vi- Chief okay. Finance, CFO. How many? How many captains on this ship? They, they're the captains of a ship that is adrift at sea with nobody on it at this point yeah. because the parks are all. The only one I care about is Bob Weiss, who's the president of Walt Disney Imagineering. Yeah. Because yeah. Let's hear it for Disney Imagineering. Yay. When they're allowed to do their job. Yeah, Kathleen Candy don't call uh, WDI anymore. Yeah. Just don't. Uh, so this is confusing. This was completely unexpected. This is not going to play well with the stockholders. This, this is like a who's on first, though. It's just like, it's very confusing. You need a flow chart. They just did this. That's what I'm talking about. They just did this like six months ago when they got rid of, um, hold on. I just want to go bingo. Yeah, what was her name? Uh, Catherine Powell. They got rid of Catherine Powell and they did the show September. We're talking like eight months and they're doing it again. They're Well, I think what happened was they have Chapik move up the CEO and they had the other guy bail. So they had to move everybody around to fill. I thought it was interesting. They hadn't they haven't filled Chapik's position at this point. Yeah. He'd been CEO for what? Since what? March. Yeah. And they hadn't they haven't replaced him. 
It was and well, it was, yeah. He's appointed February, I guess. February, but, and they hadn't replaced it. Well, I thought that was odd. So this guy uh, bails. And then, so this had to be in the works because he leaves, and then all of a sudden everybody gets replaced. It's a, it, 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 I I don't think this was planned. I think this was, I think this was a very sudden. I think they were completely blindsided by this because I mean, this is your your top guy that's supposed to be running Disney Plus. Well, all I care about is is any of these changes going to equate to actually you know better changes at the parks and better changes at, you know in the Disney company in general. Or are we sitting at the same old shit different day? That's all I care about. Nobody's in their position long enough to make any kind of a difference. It's like when they do the interns. They They're all in interns. They're corporate I'll level tell you what, interns. It's hilarious with the interns. You can't get anywhere because by the time one intern understands what they're doing, they're gone because their internship's over and then you have a new person and nothing ever gets done. Oh. So the fact that they don't have interns right now might be a good thing. So yeah, because they're they're C level people are the freaking interns. The, the, this this is the Disney College program. Like the C level people have right C level people. Yeah, I, I, for the C level people. I'm just floored. Like how the hell do you? I mean, this to me, this is like Disney's in full on panic mode. I, I, I don't know how else to work because I'm like, they just keep shif- shuffling people around. When you look at what they have, to, they have to do, too, I'm just like, I couldn't do all this. Like, they're talking about, like, what he's going to be doing. Mr. DeMar will oversee Disney's iconic travel and leisure businesses, which include six theme park resort destinations, uh, a top-rated cruise line, so the <laughs> park, Disney Cruise, popular vacation, DVC, ownership program, award-winning guided family adventure, adventures by Disney, Disney's global consumer products operation, including the world's lo- leading licensing. licensing business across toys, apparel, home goods, digital games, and apps, and a print children's print publisher, Disney store locations, and shop Disney e-commerce. He got to do all that. I feel I pity these people because I'm like, holy shit, I would not want to do it. Well, okay, so they rolled uh, parks and experiences into consumer products. Man, you know, they better hope that That's Josh... Right, they did it, they did it like, last year yeah, or before. Josh tomorrow, he better like Marvel Comics. Because uh, if he doesn't like those comic books... Well, I was just thinking that he's taking over the Shop Disney. Maybe he could do something about the, the shit show that is Shop Disney with the, the, the bots that come in and buy everything before it even launches for everybody else. They can't get anything. Shit Disney. I'm so mad. Disney I really wanted... Disneyshit.com. I really wanted the Jungle Cruise ears that were from uh, May, because I, I wear the ears in, on our little show. And I'm mad because I didn't get them. Um, it's okay. I mean, I, I if I had stayed and tried harder, I probably would have gotten them, even though they kept showing us sold out but i had to go put my dad's banner up and i didn't want and i had to choose so i chose my dad's banner it's you need to explain that because nobody oh, knows what you're talking I did, about i talked about on twitter okay well nobody's on twitter on here so they're they have uh banners for veterans and we we got uh papa sparkles a banner and and geeky got to put papa i wanted sparkles. to be there so i had to, they, they yeah, called so. me or like you need to come we're gonna put the banner up and i got to hand the banner up to put up Actually, Neil and I were volunteering helping put banners up that day, and um, but I went home for a little bit just to go and to, to get my because it was one time a month and I had to go get my stuff and I got my pins and I got my plush, but I couldn't get my ears and I'm very mad because they were showing us sold out within the first minute of it going up because of the stupid problems with Shop Disney. So for those of you out there who just to recap who hate Disney, Geeky is single handedly keeping Disney in business. Oh, um, sorry. So <laughs> I'd like the Minnie Mouse the Main Attraction Collection, okay? Uh, but we are, you know, absolute, absolute uh, Disney haters. You know, we just absolutely hate uh, Disney. Yeah, everything so Disney does, we're just, we're just wet blankets. Uh, anyway, anyway, um, this, I don't think this is gonna go, go well. I really don't. I think the investors are gonna. Have... Oh, that, yeah. Josh Demar, I think, is a fantastic. Oh, Josh Demar is a good choice, but I think um, this is this is kind of really. I don't really know problems. much about Rebecca Campbell to see how how she would do, but it sounds like she already has been doing it for you know European the, or the overseas Disney Plus, so yeah. she'll probably be okay. Um, but he was kind of key, and now he's going. And I can't blame the dude. He didn't get picked for CEO. I'd be like, F you and the horse you rode in on. I w- I'm going. I'm taking my knowledge and know-how and I'm taking it to somebody else. There we go. Um, so we'll see what happens. Uh, good luck with TikTok there. Uh, uh, yeah, it really and- sucks when, when somebody gets rid of or the people that actually know what the hell they're doing. And then you get to watch a ship go down in flames. I mean, I'm not saying I'm speaking from experience here, but I might be speaking from experience from a, a certain blog that, you know, is going down the toilet really quickly that yeah. we may or may not have built. Yeah, well, you know what? Uh, there were there were other options, and they, they didn't take any of them. So mm-hmm. you get what you get. 
That's right. So we're going to wrap this one up. That's right. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.